Hello from my name's Captain Jack, and today we're doing a different video. It's not Space Engineers for a change. I know. Freaky, right? Today we're playing Planet Base. Now this is a game I was given access to, oh, gone about two months ago now? I never actually got around to playing it, but shh, don't tell them that. Basically, this game is sort of like a strategy sort of city builder, but you've got to build a colony on planets. Sounds cool, right? Let's jump straight into it. I really actually do like- oh, we can do the- we could do that one now. Class F. Do we want to do Class F? Let's give it a try. Out of of nitrogen atmosphere, the thickness of the atmosphere prevents much of the light from reaching the surface. Ooh. Light amount low. Solar panels operate at reduced capacity. Atmosphere density high. Super for wind turbines. Builders of risk high. Um, should we do it, or should we do the normal one? Let's do the normal one, because then, then I don't look like such an idiot when everything fails. Um, uh, I guess I'm going to call it that. Right, let's land the lander. That's what you do with the land, isn't it? This is one thing I don't like about the game. It takes so long to get out the actual ship. It's... look. If I had a timer near me, I'd time this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we arrived with nine people. Well, two of the robots, but you know. Right, let's survey our area. We're in another shit area. Wow. Fuck it. This is brilliant. Not. Why is it I can't find flat areas anymore? Literally, there's no flat areas around here. How do you expect people to survive? Sissy, how are we going to survive on this? Let's restart. This is one thing I find in the game. Unless you get, like, a good starting area, let's just pick. That looks flat there, doesn't it? Start game. Unless you get, like, a certain flat area, you can't expand the base very far, so you're kind of stuffed. And this has looked promising so far. So far. It's probably going to be a giant wall down here in a minute. Like I said, this is an annoying thing. After you've seen this cutscene so many times, you never want to see it again. But I do give props to the developers of this game. It's very unique, I think. I think the nearest game I'd compare it to is Space Base DF9. How the development of that game is cancelled. I'm particularly annoyed about that because I paid quite a lot of money for that game. Well, I think about 20 quid, but you know. 20 quid? 20 quid? Well, this is a lot more promising, it looks like. Um... I think we can do it this way this time, so let's... Uh, that can be recycled down, because you know, easier. We need an airlock. Let's park it there. O2 station. Park that. Actually, we can do that, can't we? There we go, park that there. Uh, that needs to be parked over here. We also need a water plant, and that can be parked there. I don't know why I'm parking everything. I don't know. Where the idea of that's come from. Come on, people, pick up the pace. We've got a job to do. Any time today would be appreciated. Come on, come on, come on. you got a bigger oxygen generator now. This will keep things happy. Right, come on, come on. No, it's going to night time. I'm so impatient with these games. It's hilarious. Right, gigantic windmill. I want that one. Right, we should be generating oxygen. Yay, we've got oxygen. Ooh, round of applause! We have managed to land and do something. Constructor bot, where are you? This is one funny thing. This little bot here whizzes around the place like no tomorrow. When you get a bigger base up and running, it is so funny to see him bolt out of somewhere and come and, like, protect the base with his life. Um... Let's put that there for a minute. You're probably thinking, Jack, why are you upgrading such big things? This could be a critical fail in my plans, or it could not. Yeah. We need power to keep running. Um, canteen, canteen, canteen. Um, let's have a mini canteen for a moment. We'll put that one there. But we need a big biodome. First, we also need a dorm, so let's split a dormitory off to there, I'm gonna think. Yeah. We could scrap that one, actually. Actually, no, we don't actually have that many people at the minute, so that'll be fine. 
because I've played like the game for a long time now, I'm used to building lots of big stuff, so it's kind of hard to go back to it. With Planet Base, I'd say the only challenge is, a lot of people criticise this, you've got to get across the initial hump, which is setting up a stable um, civilization and supporting yourself. After that, it kind of gets a bit boring. And you think, well, it's like, what else do I do after that? I love how people are now just walking to a canteen to eat their food. I do find that quite funny. Let's get a video screen. A video screen. <laughs> it's not a television, it's a video screen. Biodome, that's what we need. Let's set that one up. There, let's put that there. No, we should have enough resources to build it. Yes, we do have plenty of resources to build that. Ooh. And going to our charts bit, or stats, sorry. Doing very poor. We're doing good. Go away. There we go, we're survival reached. We have two biologists. Brilliant. Excuse me, drinking water. Um, what do you guys complain about? Sleep. Oh, we've not built the beds. Whoops. We've built the dormitory. We've not built the beds. There we go, that should be enough for a moment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not everyone needs to sleep at the same time. There we go. Make a bot, where are you? Make a bot. You. I don't go in there, we need you to grind up, oh, sorry, weld up this place. Some people did compare this game to Space Engineers, but I don't know how you can actually compare it to Space Engineers, to be honest. I do like this game, it's something nice to play. As soon, like I said, as soon as you get off, over that initial hump, which I'll show you how to do, or not how to do, how I'm going to do it in a minute. Some people will criticise for building a very large biodome, but it will come in handy later. Well, we probably wasted a bit of time getting it up and running, but you know. Come on, come and grind us up please, or whoever you are. Yeah, there he is. Look at him. Look at him whiz around. Auction's being drained out. Now, a quick thing to do, I think, is tomato and rice. We've got two biologists, now each biologist can handle about, um, I'd say, three, um, three, like, food pads each, yeah, that's, so what I was looking for, I was like, what do you call these things again? They can handle about three each, so that'll be fine. I wonder where a mine can go. Oh, one can go there, that's good. Hmm. Is this like critical to where we. What do you mean out of water? Can't be out of water, can we? We're out of water already. Oh, it's a large one, that's why. Um. Give me a large water extractor. Prioritise that. And I think we're going to need to start prioritising this soon as well. So let's give this priority for a moment. Go on, get up and running, people. There we go, you should be... Yes, we've got more water now now. So the plants can grow now. That's actually a good thing, to be honest. We don't want them not, <laughs> not growing, to be honest. It'd be a bit awkward if they didn't grow. Uh, we don't need to actually put anything in there. So let's look at our charts and stuff. How are we doing? We're, we're doing excellent, apparently. Alright, if you say so. I wouldn't class as doing excellent. Now, we should be funding a lot of meals in here now, or stuff. There you go, this is all being made. Now, the next thing we need to do is establish a processing plant. Hmm, can we do that there? Let's see if we do that there. Uh huh. Then if we do an airlock. No, oh, airlock. Leading there. Then if we do a mine. Sat there. We've unlocked this little area as well. See? I'm a genius. Watch this all fall apart in about five minutes. It's going to be hilarious. So, with this, there's certain, like, milestones you can reach. Like, so far, we've launched, uh, sorry, reached survival. 
Self-sufficiency, um, that's when we produce this thing as well. We need to produce some stuff like that. Standing, you need to reach prestige 100, which is measured here. What do you mean poor? We're doing good. Leave me alone. God, criticizing me much, honestly. So whenever he comes back in a minute to tell us we've done something wrong. We need to basically, the next thing we need to do is build um, a metal producer and a bioplastic one. That will help us produce more resources such as this one and this one. Bioplastic. Bioplastic is made by starch, metal is made by ore, got it the mine. So yeah, there we go. Um, situation report. Power is holding. Well, it's night time in a minute so it's going to go down. We need more solar panels, methinks. We also eventually will need to create like a spares workshop. So at the moment we've got 10 spares, so hopefully these machines won't break down. There you go, we've reached self-sufficiency. Look, I don't know why I'm pointing my monitor like you can see this. We should do face cam sometime. There we go, see? Starch is being made into bioplastic. So basically these plants will produce um, starch. Starch can't be used for much else. It can be used for making med medicinal plants, I believe, and other stuff. But for a minute, we're just making bioplastics so we can make more rooms. Simples, right? What other things do we need at the moment? Um, we need storage eventually. However, storage can eventually go here, I'm thinking. Oh, we could build a giant storage lab. I don't think we need that just yet. Um, what else do we need? We don't need much of this yet. Factory, don't think we need it at the minute. What is a cabin? Oh, a cabin's like a little thing. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we need a cabin just yet. Hopefully, they are beginning to add like more stuff to this game. Like, for when you saw me selecting a planet, sir, if the last one at the end is a storm planet, that is like the current maximum thing you can do. And that allows you to have uh, lightning rods, which are over here. There's no risk of thunderstorms on this planet. So, thunder rods, lightning rods, same thing. Um, so, you can have that. We can also build a pyramid at one point. Look at this giant glass pyramid. Don't know what the use of it is. We can just build a pyramid. I don't know why he's walking all the way around here. There's an airlock there. Where's he going? What's he going to pick up? I wonder what he's carrying. Where's he going? Uh, he literally just picked up a meal. Oh, I suppose we've not used over the rations yet, have we? Yeah, we still got meals and stuff in here. We got pasta. What else we got around here? All pasta. That's it. I love how I'm rooting through my own supplies to find stuff. So in a bit, we're going to do a storage room, which we'll put here, so we can then expand it over to here. At the minute, I think we're stable enough. We've definitely got enough meals to be made, and eventually we'll call in some more. Oh, lock the airlocks. I think this is the way we can keep people in. Because we've disabled these, so they shouldn't be able to be accessed. Trouble is, our worker in here is going to be stuck in the mine, but hopefully he's not going to come out yet. So we've produced some metal over here, so we should have more metal now. We do. Brilliant. Don't you dare walk into an airlock. No, go away you, medic. We need an engineer to repair this spot soon. We'll also get a landing pad so we can call in more colonists and traders. I think we can expand over here as well. I think I need to upgrade my power thing eventually. And hopefully the sandstorm will go away. One benefit of sandstorms is they make these things go mad. As we can see, we can generate lots of power. Eventually, when the game's complete, well, when we've done a certain lot, we'll up the power things. We have a giant power bank across the entire grid. So hopefully, power should never ever fail. If it does, we're stuffed. Stay in that mine, man. Come on, stand some blow over. Oh, asteroid over there. Oh no, he's still mining stuff, brilliant, that's fine. You stay in there, because you're safe in there while this passes, aren't you? Being used by Cody A. Matthews. Huh. I forget we have little names. So we'll see, we'll get a backlog on vegetables and stuff soon, see? Because the meal maker over here is too busy to cope. It's got too much stuff in it at the minute. See, look at all that. Too much stuff. Huh. 
Oh nice. Is he broken down? No, he's just got nothing to do. I love the bots just wander around, like, waiting for something to do. Because if I open the door, else, um, they're probably gonna get killed. Well, all the civilians would get killed. Or calmness. But I don't know about bots. I think it damages them, the sandstorm does. As you go further away, you see the tops of the buildings come on, which is pretty neat. I do really like this game, it's fun. Literally, it's gotta wait for this to blow over now. Are we on max? Oh no, we weren't. God damn it, Jack. I thought we were here. He's still in the mine. Yeah, you stay in there, mate. There we go. Bring systems back online. Now we need to build a storage area, he thinks. Think it's storage. What size or what materials are available? Let's build a medium thing. There we go. If we get medium up and running. We're also at some point gonna need more power, I think. Now we could build a windmill or a solar panel, but hmm. Hmm, it's debatable really. Another power bank would go far, to be honest. Hmm, do we want to build another power bank, though? This is like a difficult question, really. Um, I'm going to say another power bank. So at the minute, while we're like waiting for materials to be built and stuff, we kind of don't want all the metal and stuff, while like, all these walkways connected. Because we could connect these two buildings, I think, or we could place something else here and connect it. But like I've done here, I could ideally recycle one of these and have it like brought back. Because it's using like a... we could get the metal back from that basically. Is he broken down? Someone needs to go and repair him. So I think we could probably just build a landing pad now and call in some extra people. We will need to modify our landing permissions in a bit, so we have a minute. We only want workers coming in, so we've got more resources and stuff. But we will need a doctor's slight like, bay at that point. Whoa, that was close. So I, I, I think I got damaged a little bit. Ouchies. Actually, you have things very poor in here. What are you guys doing in here? How many biologists do it have? Did one of them die or something? We still got two, they're not doing a very good job. Come on guys, should we be doing something in here, not just letting it get very poor. Is the engineer bot still broken down or something? Say no one's actually doing anything. Yeah, things are ready to be built now. Go on, Angie Bot. There you go. Look, he's racing across the base now to get there. It is quite funny when he just races across. Go on. Get to the place. Yeah, we now got a large storage place. So basically, somebody will eventually... I think the carrier bot will move all this stuff to the storage bay now. Hopefully. Oxygen's dropping. That's not a good thing. Oh, no. It's just refilling. So you will eventually need um, a bigger oxygen generator. Power storage is low. No, it's not low. It's just... Oh, actually, it is low. Go on, wind. I need you up. Oh, it's climbing back up. Come on, spin. Spin. We're going to run low. Come on. Don't let us down. Yeah, it's spinning. No, it's going down. Oh, we might be in trouble here. I think we're going to be in trouble. We've run out of power. Well, this is bad. Um, bugger. We need power, quickly. You, go take round now. Do something. Do something magical. Go. There you go. Recharge the power banks. Come on. There you go. That's going to be recharged now. Whew. And breathe. Oh, 
What's he moving off to do? Nothing. He literally just walked out of there to do nothing. What have we got in here? We've got loads of food and stuff in here. Can you go and do something useful? Literally, I think this is ready to be built, isn't it? No, we're pending two resources. Literally, I need stuff to be built over here, people. What are you doing? Not doing anything useful. We should recharge to max in a moment. Come on. Our oh, wind's dropping. Mm. Hopefully we can survive through the night, but I don't think we're going to be able to survive through on this amount of power. Pending resources, one. We need one metal now. Do we have one metal? We have zero metal. Brilliant. Produce more metal, guys. Come on. We need somebody to go and work this. Not that. Turn it off. Go and work this thing. No, don't go to bed. There's a time and a place. Get, get back here. Stop going to bed. You could literally stay up overnight to do some work, and you've decided to go and sleep. What is this? Jesus. So if I was running a space, it'd be a lot stricter. A lot more common sense as well. Hmm. Our power's gonna run out. Let's go and sleep on it. Idiots. We've got one metal. Quickly, go and do something. In hindsight, I don't know why I'm building another power collector, because we're gonna run out of power anyway. So it's not like we can store any extra power. GG Jack for that one. There you go, Jack. I'm so glad we could build that. Build that. We need another one of these at some point. Because power... Oh, we're literally gonna... <laughs> we're gonna fail! <laughs> I've not de been defeated by power loss before. I've been defeated by food, but not power loss. Well, we need metal. More metal. Let's deconstruct this. What are these? These medical supplies. Yeah, we don't need them at this present moment of time. Do we need medical supplies? Yes, I'm aware power storage is critical. You don't need to keep reminding me. I need to place a bloody big windmill. There we go. Someone go and build that. Go on. Go. Work. Now. Any resources for? How much metal do we have? One. Brilliant. I'm so glad we asked you guys. Can we boost up stuff in here, please? This game is quite stressful when you get into it, because obviously, like, we don't, kind of don't want them all to die. Eventually, you can get better text as well. So, like, if we go... No, we want to go into this one. Go to text. We can eventually get, like, a constructor bot. Oh, no. we A driller bot. So, bots can actually go in there, and it's a lot better. When you get bots doing stuff, it's, like, majorly better, because obviously workers are going to get injured and stuff, because in a minute we're going to need a medical bay as well, because they're going to be idiots and get injured. Look at all this space we've got to expand to. So, let me, let me guys, um, let you, words. So, I really want to know what you guys, um, think about this, like, whether you want me to do more content in this game, because it's very interesting. Maybe we could do sort of like a let's play or something. I've not done a let's play in a year or so now. Well, since the channel grew, I've never done a let's play. But, yeah, if you guys want to see a let's play on this type of game, or any other type of game, let me know. I was thinking of doing um, Kerbal Space Program. But that ran into some installation errors in Steam. It was a missing the executable when I went to run it um, before starting this recording. So it couldn't be asked. Plus doing this as well, um get to have some fun playing this, because I do like this game. It's like I say, it just needs more content at the minute, but I think the development team's only small, so you have to wait for it. But it's a fun game, I like it. I do recommend you guys check it out as well. Oh god, we're running into power problems again. No. Oh, balls. Come on, we need that power. A blizzard right now, or a sandstorm would be really good right about now. Come on. 
Don't run down. <laughs> this is literally going to be the end of us right now. Oh, balls. What's that, a power? As long as we keep... This is a priority thing to keep running. We can turn this off and everything else off. As long as this thing keeps running. Right, now we're in trouble. O2 is dropping. Are we on maximum speed? We are. Right, bring us up to power. Come on. You, turn around. We're out of power again. Brilliant. We need a bigger windmill. Yes, I'm aware we're out of power. You don't need to keep telling me. Come on, we need a really big windmill. That can turn off because I want people working on that. I need metal. Really big windmill would be nice. Solar generator at this point would be a good idea, to be honest. I mean, if we could generate more solar power. We chose we don't actually have the metal to generate it, that's the problem. We're running into a loophole here. We're not going to make it through the night, I don't think. Power generation is down completely. Literally, we can't, like, fund this thing anymore. Hmm. This may be the end of our colony. It'd be good if it was, like, a self destruct barn. I imagine if everything's going to shit, I could just press the self-destruct button and watch everything blow up. It's like, what would you blow up? I guess the O2 generator, just blow that up and everyone's doomed. Well, there's power depth dropping. No wind. Hello darkness, my old friend. Come on, wind, we need you. We need a sandstorm right about now. Everything's gone to shit. Well done, Jack. Mission commander fail. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the hell? Of all timing, when I said we needed a self-destruct sequence, an asteroid hits us. Well, things have clearly gone to shit here. Let's just, you know, exit. So that was kind of like a failure, but I'll show you guys my other base as well. So I believe it's this one, I think? I think it's this one. If not, it's a different one. I thought I'd show you guys this one anyway, because you can kind of see how the game takes place. So I'll show you guys this one instead, because um, this is my main one. Now, touch wood, this is running fine. Like, we've got everything going good. We've just set up, um, set up our new production facility. Oh, I need to take the roof off. There we go. So this is our new production facility of mining stuff. I'm thinking of setting up another mine here soon. We've also got a radio tower as well. We've got security. Um, one of our bots has become damaged. Oh, he's dead. That's sad. So eventually we're going to need... Um, we've got all the stuff being made. We've got spares. Literally everything's being made here. We've got labs as well. So we've got um, medical supplies being made. Because a lot of workers suffer damage. Uh, I'll show you guys the charts in a minute. I'm really actually proud of this base because like the first thing I've achieved is actually good. So we've got almost 80 people coming on here now, and I think we we still got permissions open. We have. We're taking on workers at a minute, and I will just up it so we take on some more engineers as well because that's what we need. I think we are suffering power problems though. Yeah, we are. Just when I said everything was good, it appears we are suffering power. Hello, two new people. We've got a worker and an engineer. Uh, our materials. We're doing good on materials, to be honest. Uh, we will fund some more power things, because at the minute we are dropping dangerously low on power. 
That is one problem with this base. It does use a hell of a lot of power. However, food is going good. Look at this. We've got tons of food and stuff in here. I don't know why we're growing plants. Oh yeah, we're growing medical plants as well. Lots of starch. So these things have a heyday of making this. We've got tons of this. Actually, this base, touch wood, is going fine. And I like it. Food's being produced. We've got plenty of food. Look at all the storage we got. Tons of stuff. That trader ship. We've got trading ships landed. Um, what can we buy from you? Do we want anything? I don't actually think we want anything. Goodbye. 80 people are, like, working on this. It's actually amazing. This is one bit where I've actually completed something that works, which is quite surprising. Something I've made works. Can you believe that? Planning resources. Christ, this one uses a lot of resources. Yeah, you can go away now. Actually, can I buy some medical off you? What do you want in a change? Um, I have a carrot. There you go. Where did you come from? You just walked through the wall. What do you- you've not got enough water. Well, we should have water in... Someone's depressed. Why is this offline? Who turned the fountain offline? I guess that must have been me at some point. I don't know why I turned the drinking fountain. It's like I've tried to sabotage my own people. Ha <laughs> ha. I'll get them. I'll turn the water fountain off. ha <laughs> ha. We got spares and stuff, because we need a lot of spares to repair our stuff. Because that's one thing, we almost died in this base, because we lost a lot of stuff. Oh, that was close. At one point, uh, we need actually some telescopes and stuff. This is what this is being set up for, because I think... Yeah, we can build a telescope now. And that will allow us to build... Um, a laser gun to shoot things down with. This thing still needs to be manned. So we got security guards in here and stuff. So we got um, guns and stuff. These guys are armed, I think. Yeah, he's got a gun. That... So we can detect intruders and everything. Because I know some intruders have tried invading us already. We had problems over here. You guys can actually drink now. I don't know why, but there's a... I have a pot plant. Are you depressed? Have a tree. There we go. I think our power problems are solved now. No, we're still losing power. What's the deal with the cactus? Um. Ay, 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 ay. What am I trying to build now? Um. Solar. We need lots of solar, me thinks. What's going on over here? What are you? You're a trader stock. What do we need from you? We're doing fine for everything, I think. Um, what's this? Vitro meat. I don't think we need vitro meat, do we? Um, uh, let's just cancel that one. Yeah, I think we're doing fine. There we go. Power's been restored now. Yay! You can go away. Go on. Shoot. What's everyone feeling like? There's a, some broken bones. We're out of metal supplies. That's the only thing. You guys need to keep working on stuff. If we had more space over here, I'd like to build like a fitness sort of dome thing. Or something to keep these guys entertained because it seems this part portion of the base are depressed for some reason. I mean, it's not like I'm running a dictatorship around here. Or am I? What's this? A factory. I love what we've now turned into playing the other version. So I saw me in it. Watch this, guys. Look at this. We get a yellow alert. I love this alarm. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this thing. I'm going to um, cut it here. Because you guys, you've seen me start a base and fail. And you've also seen my base that's running and working at the same time. And I just hit the mic and it hurt. Um, you see, you've seen it like working. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. My name's been Captain Jack. If you want more stuff like this, I really need to sort out my outro, to be honest. That's one thing we need to work on, the outro. It, yeah, basically, if you want to see more games like this where we just do random games, do let me know in the comment section below, because every Sunday I try and do something different for my YouTube channel. And if you'd like to see more of Planet Base, because it is an interesting game, I think I would like to do a couple videos on the Storm Planet or different planets. So yeah, 
Anyway, I've been Captain Jack. Don't forget to leave a like rating. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. It'd be amazing to have you on board. We do lots of content and stuff here. Um, so yeah, I think that's it for the outro. Hope you guys are all having a good Sunday as well. Good day.